revolution in ancient Egypt. Over the next 800 years, at least 80 pyramids were built in Egypt, beautiful monuments of smooth stone rising evenly to a point. Some of these pyramids are among the biggest structures ever built anywhere in the world. It took thousands of workers many years to build them. The largest, when complete, was 481 feet tall. Enormous stone blocks were used. They had to be cut out of the ground by hand, shaped perfectly square, and dragged to the site. Each block weighs about two and a half tons, and each pyramid contains more than two million of these blocks. A pyramid would have a hidden door. From here, a secret tunnel would lead to the burial chamber. Besides the mummy, the burial chamber would hold the treasures of the pharaoh. The coffin might be covered with pure gold. Riches almost beyond description filled the burial rooms. But we will never know exactly what was left in the pharaoh's tombs, because almost all of them were broken into thousands of years ago, and the robbers stole everything. Eventually, the pharaohs abandoned the practice of building pyramids. They were terribly difficult to make, and in the end, they were not even safe against robbers. In later centuries, the pharaohs were buried farther up the Nile, in the desert, beyond the river. Here, in the Valley of the Kings, are the hidden tombs of many powerful pharaohs, like Ramses the Great. It is hard to tell that under these mountains are dozens of secret tunnels and royal burial chambers, for all the doors were hidden. But as with the pyramids, all of the doors were found and the tombs were robbed, except one tomb, the lost tomb of King Tutankhamun. This golden mask was found covering the face of the mummy when the tomb was finally discovered in 1922. Mystery still surrounds this pharaoh, whom we usually call King Tut. We know that he took the throne when he was only about 10 years old. He married a girl of 12, and he died when he was about 19. This gold-covered lion was among 